Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now in today's video, we're taking a look at a brand new printer that is large, large bill plate. We're talking about the Elgu Neptune 3 Plus. This is the first Elgu product that we're reviewing on the channel, so we're very excited to have it here and test it out. Uh, the bill plate for this machine is 320 by 320 by 400 millimeters. It also has a PI flexible bill plate, which is gonna make printing and removing prints worry-free. No glue sticks required here. This is you know, pretty much anything that you put on this thing is gonna stick. Um, it also has a dual gear extruder with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and a really healthy bed temperature as well as nozzle temperature, as you can see. Uh, print speeds anywhere from three, uh, from 30 up to 180 millimeters per second. And it's gonna be able to print a wide variety of materials ranging from ABS, PLA, TPU, PETG, uh, yeah, wood, marble, you know, you just think about it, you're gonna be able to throw it at this. Uh, it also has power loss recovery. And one of the things that really sets this apart is that it has six adjustment knobs when it comes to leveling and 49 point auto bed leveling. So you're gonna be able to see that you're gonna have some really nice first layer prints that are going to give you a lot of confidence that as things build up, they're gonna look great. Um, it does have a filament runout sensor, power recovery, and then it has a built-in light bar. This is a really complete solution. It's large, so it's gonna be able to cover a lot of those needs, and then it also has two support bars that are gonna be able to make sure that you have the right stability so that you have great prints too. Now, as you can see, we've been doing a lot of printing on the Elgu Neptune 3 Plus. Uh, this is a delightful printer because you know, more and more I've been seeing printers that just work right out of the box. And that's what really I enjoy. It's something that you can just put together really quickly, um, level it, and the leveling in this is effortless, and then get some prints out as you can see here. Uh, first thing that is really stand out about this printer is the build plate. You're talking about a 320 by 320 by 400 millimeter uh, build plate. And this is gonna give you, you can see the height here, the ability to build and print large items, like you can see that rocket ship, um, cosplay items, if you're looking at helmets, you're looking at those kind of things, this is definitely gonna be the printer for you if you're looking for that. Um, and the quality is also really, really good. Now the Neptune 3 Plus really takes leveling to a total different level. We're talking about 49 points. So it's gonna basically test the bed in 49 different points to give you the best leveling. Now this does have a PEI sheet, as you can see here, which also makes it a delight when it comes to removing prints. Very simple, so you're gonna get great bed leveling, you're also gonna get prints that are easy to remove, no spatula, nothing to really force off. Prints just pop off as soon as they cool off, and then that leveling technology that it has also sets us apart. Now, with that 49 point, you also then have not, not four, right, which is typically what you see, but we actually have six. So you have one, two, three adjustment points on the very bottom on each side, and this is gonna also give you that high level of precision. Now, in addition to that, you do have this capacitive screen here on the side, uh, which you can remove. It's something that I don't know why you would, but it's there, it's available, and it's something that you can easily take out if you want to bring up closer to you. Now, this printer does feature a dual gear direct drive extruder. And I have to say, this thing is uber quiet. It is super quiet. Uh, I actually put this together in our bedroom. Um, Nola wasn't feeling too good, so instead of building it down here, I wanted to just do it on the side and you know, just be in the bedroom with her as she was recovering. And I built the printer and I was running the printer and she didn't even know it was going. It was so quiet. So this thing is whisper quiet. And the reason why that's important to point out is if you are someone that doesn't have a dedicated space for 3D printing, and it may be in a common area, you can run this in a common area and it's not gonna make um, that much noise. It's super quiet, it's more like white noise, uh, and again, every part of the movement of this printer is just silent. Now, if you're familiar with the Neptune lineup, the Neptune 3 Pro, the Neptune 3 Plus, and then there's the Neptune 3 Max, what you'll find is that this one fits right in the middle. Uh, it is larger than the Pro, it is smaller than the Max, but still, this is pretty large when it comes to build plates, so once again, this build plate is gonna serve a lot of your needs. Now another standout feature that you see at the very top is that it comes with an LED strip and it lights up your work area really easily. Love the way that that is included. There's no extra cost for it and it just works. Now as we discussed, it does have a filament sensor detector, runout sensor, power recovery, everything you need in order uh, to start printing. Now next we're gonna go over the actual print quality, but I started up an XY cube, and I just wanna show you how I'm recording this, and I'm also then printing at the same time, so you can see the noise difference that's gonna come in. Now the printer does have a couple modes. It has a fast mode, and then it also has a 
kind of like a slower mode that you can go or normal mode. And just want to show you that the difference in quality is not one that I saw is a big deal. So let me show you first a cube that we printed and it took 31 minutes to print. So here we have one here. This was 31 minutes to print and you can see very, very clean, no layer lines whatsoever, right? But this uh, filament oil is also dehydrated, very, very clean, right? Out of the box. And that's what I love when uh, print jobs are just like this, that they basically just come out this nice. Now, the other thing that we have here, um, and again, this one took 31 minutes. Uh, the next one right here took 23 minutes. And this one, 23 minutes, right? And if I look at the quality, the quality is also spectacular quality, right? No layer lines, everything nice and clean. And if we compare the two, I'm gonna put them side by side. One of them, again, is 23 and the other one is 31. Uh, so you can see the differences right there. See that? I don't really see much of a difference except for the fact that one is faster than the other, right? And we look at the Z. Pretty nice. We did the same thing uh, from a couple benchies. Uh, one benchy uh, was a little bit over an hour, right? And the other one was a lot longer. So one was like one hour, one minute and the other one was one hour and 35 minutes. So this is the Benchy that was an hour and 35 minutes, right? And you can see how clean things are. These are all with stock settings, by the way, right? These are all stock settings, and you can see how clean everything is, and you can see how nice that first layer is. All right, there was a brim there that had to take off. And now this one was one hour and one minute. And you'll notice here, as we're looking at this one, again, the only difference that I could see is the actual speed difference, right? Both of them came out really, really nice. And for those of you who are curious as to what filament we're using, we're actually using uh, some filament from Filamentum. So you can see that right there. Uh, so we're using uh, this filament. And the only difference we saw, again, was speed. Now, the next thing we did is we printed uh, this... Christmas tree ornament, right? And this one also um, has some defects here at the very bottom, uh, but we were running this really, really fast, right? Uh, but still, I was really happy with the quality. Now, we did run um, a couple other larger prints because I wanted to see what the quality was. Now, I did drop this one, so don't judge. This was, has nothing to do with the printer. This was something that I actually did. Uh, so here, this was printed on the printer as well. And as again, you can see, overall quality. Look at how nice this is. Again, layer lines, I see none, no layer lines, absolutely gorgeous, and the quality was really good, but I dropped them right there in his head, sorry, it's like, that was uh, kind of my fault. Uh, other prints that we did, why not, uh, this is a kind of like a popular show, and we did, yeah, we did the hand, we did thing, and thing, uh, one of the things about thing is that I see a lot of layer lines in this print, um, not a, a, the fault of the printer, but I think my filament needs to be dehydrated. So I did see uh, a lot of layer lines, which I didn't see in any of my other prints. This one did have some, uh, and I wanna say it's probably because of that. So now the printer started running, and you can see it, and we'll make sure that that gets back in focus for y'all. Uh, and we'll just stay quiet for a little bit just so you can hear what's going on. See how quiet that is? Super duper quiet, love how quiet this printer is. Now, we went ahead and we also uh, wanted to see, again, the size, and I wanted to also see how this printed with Silk PLA. Um, silk PLA is gonna be pretty unforgiving when it comes to defects. So uh, we did this rocket, right? This rocket was done in vase mode, and look how clean this is. Absolutely gorgeous, flawless, right? Flawless print. Love the way that looked. And, you know, overall, it's been a delightful experience, like I'm mentioning. Highly recommend this printer, especially for the price point. And a couple things that we'll highlight also about the printer is that there are no tools required when it comes to adjustments. Uh, adjustment knob here, 
You do have another adjustment knot up here. You do have support beams in the back that are giving you stability so that if you are running at fast speeds, you'll be able to make that adjustment. And I also like the fact that you can get a preview of your print um, in the actual display. So let's take a look. All right, so here you see that we're printing a cube and this one is in the fast setting, right? So you can see uh, the print head over there, how it's moving. And you can do a couple things um, in your adjustments. So we'll go into settings here. Uh, you can make it faster if you'd like. You can make adjustments to the nozzle or the heat bed. Uh, you notice what I'm printing at right now is at 260 is the bed temperature. And if I go into speed, I can actually make it a little bit faster, right? And um, I've moved this up to like 150 and we'll do that right now just so that we can see what's happening there. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it all up to 150. Uh, I've gotten some decent prints out of uh, 150, especially if you're working with functional parts that are not going to be, you know, something like a bus like this that you want to be able to display. You know, pump it up. Um, it hasn't failed. It's been able to, to print nicely at that speed. Uh, but you can adjust, you know, your print speed. You can adjust your flow. You can also adjust your fan. So you have a lot of flexibility of things that you can adjust here. And then over here, obviously, you can go in and work with, uh, you know, your filament detector, adjust your Z offset, um, turn on and off the LED. So you can see that's what it looks like without the LED. That's what it's like with the LED. So the LED is really, really bright. If you're going to have this in a common area, I'd highly recommend, uh, especially if it's a night, keep the LED off because it is bright and it will be uh, disturbing. Uh, you do have some resume printing features there. Turn that on and off to your liking. And pretty much that's all you have to really worry about, right? So if we go back, um, let's go back to the main page. You notice here um, that my speed was increased to 150%. Uh, fan cooling, um, again, uh, and then also you have how much time has been uh, printing. If you do have the thumbnail generator on, right, you will get a picture of an image. The only thing I wish you had with this that is not there is I wish that that image would show uh, the progress, right? So not the full image, but that you would be able to see how it's progressing uh, at a layer level. That would be nice to have. On this side, you can see uh, the six knobs, or at least the three knobs on one side, and you can see the printer is moving a lot faster. You also have the micro SD, standard USB, and then here's the connection for this uh, display. Now, given the height of this printer, um, and also you know the, the size of the bed, you do have these two support beams in the back that are gonna give you nice support, and are gonna give you some stability so that you have no layer shifts, and also, um, reduces really um, a lot of the shaking that you would typically find in a printer that didn't have it. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.